Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Los Angeles Chargers, the Dark Horse. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button right now so you can get all the updates each and every time I have a sports video coming out so you can be entertained and updated. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at the Los Angeles Chargers right now, and you're seeing their offseason moves. First of all, you look at them making the move to get Khalil Mack and in they didn't really give up a lot. You're looking at possibly a second, fifth, or sixth rounder. And, and depending on the compensation of money-wise, this is a steal. When you look at Khalil Mack, the Bears are basically saying we're turning a page and we're basically rebuilding. And you're looking at a Chargers team that, if it wasn't for the defense, they probably would have made the playoffs last year. You're looking at just what Justin Herbert brings, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. And even though they have one of the best running backs in the NFL, running back by committee carried them through running the football last year. And they have a quarterback that's on a quarterback rookie deal. And you're looking at these moves that they're making now. They're trying to get the best out of the best right now. They're trying to strike while the iron's hot. This move to sign Khalil Mack as far as the trade um, and getting J.C. Jackson from New England in free agency. You're looking at some of the offseason moves, pairing him with uh, uh, Bosa and Mack on that defensive line, possibly Mack playing a little bit of linebacker. There's so many different things that the Chargers can do with this mix and match combination of players. And I think that right now, the Chargers are all in. They saw what happened with the Rams last year, making key trades for Von Miller, making key trades for Odell Beckham. When they needed things, they went out and got them. And you saw the Rams have been aggressive the last four or five years. And they've really put their effort into it and really put all the chips on the table. Now the Chargers are taking a play out of their playbook, and now it's looking like, okay, this can make a difference. I think the Chargers are going to be a, a solid football team. you got to keep in mind that defense had to improve because you've added the likes of Russell Wilson to your division. No telling if Derek Carr is going to stay there or they're going to bring in another good quarterback. And you also have to think Patrick Mahomes. So you're looking at a pretty... One of the best, if not the best, divisions for, for quarterback play in the NFL. So the Chargers are on the right path. And I think that this move right here is going to put them a step above uh, the Raiders. It puts them uh, equal, level I, playing field with the with the Kansas City Chiefs and also the Denver Broncos at this point. So I think that this move is very good for them. Even the offseason moves, as I said before, signing J.C. Jackson, one of the most talented corners, that up-and-coming corners in the NFL. So I think that you got to strike with the iron's hot. you got to strike while you have a quarterback on a, a team-friendly deal. And at this point, you know, they're going to make moves. So all you NFL fans, get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Do you think the Chargers are, are the next up-and-coming rising team? Do you think it's their time now? Or do you think they're just another team in the mix? What do you think about the offseason moves? Leave the comments in the comment section below. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can get all the updates each and every time I have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. And as always, thank you so very much. We'll see you on the next video.